Welcome to the wonderful Wednesday Shave of the Day. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving, and welcome back. And if this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. All right. Now in tonight shave, we are using my ZY430. And this is just a marvelous razor. That's faux wood, hollow ground. This, we did a refresh on uh, here in my last Friday special. And this was refreshed with Chromox on that 30 degree strop back there. All right, so this is gonna be the test shave for this razor. And for our soap tonight, Sterling Soap Company. And now this is black cherry, and that's exactly the scent I get off of this, is a black cherry. It is just marvelous, really is. Now I've had that soap blooming, and we're gonna pour that off and put that on as a pre-shave, all right? So tell me, how are you guys doing? I hope you're well, and the world's treating you good. Yeah. Hopefully you, you also are having some great shaves, right? Yeah, that would be good. At least good shaves. You know, it's always good to have you back for a shave. Always enjoy it when you're here and uh, let me know let me know in the comments you know what are you, kind of shapes have you been getting hopefully you've been getting some really good shapes that would be fabulous okay now for a brush tonight my Omega 10,098 excellent and we're just going to load that up and go to town so this is the midweek shave. You made it halfway through the week. We are that much closer to the weekend. Oh yeah. Looking forward to that, definitely. So this next Friday coming up, uh, my daughter goes back to the university. So I'll be taking her and we'll drop her off and she'll start her next school year yeah yeah that time of year again all right and i am sure i have got enough soap without any worries this sterling soap company makes fine tallow based soap really does there we go now get that washed off and look at that is that beautiful or what let's get our lather on here yeah Nice. And what a wonderful scent. The scent on this is just amazing. Okay, now this is pass one. This is primarily with the grain. And again, this is a shave test of how we did refreshing this blade.
Nice. Cutting right through it. Feels good. All right, looking good. All right, so, so far, this really seems sharp, possibly a little, little edgier than uh, the gold dollar, but as you see, it's working fine. Yeah, nice. Okay, this turned out to be a really good shave. Oh yeah, nice, wonderful. Yeah. This is good. There we go. All right, pass one complete. Let's clean that off, see how we did. I 
think we're doing all right. Yeah, nice. Very good. All right, now time for pass two. And I also wanted to remind you that uh, I do shave of the day videos, Wednesdays and Sundays. Yeah, and uh, just show up, you can be part of it. Yeah. I really have some of the best subscribers and viewers out there. So thank you guys so much. Yep. Now the question of the day comes from a comment that I got on uh, one of my videos recently. How often or how many shaves, how many three pass shaves do you get out of your straight razor before having to rehone or refresh it? Go ahead and put your answer in the comments and let me know. I really would like to find out uh, how you guys are doing and, and what happens with your straight razors. With me, I can get, I'm going to say at least 90 shaves in between refresh or rehome. Uh, and that's just taking the straight razor, putting it on the strop before I shave every time. All right, and that's just the smooth side of the leather. So now this is pass two. I'm going to be going across the grain, mainly on my neck, against the grain, on my cheeks. Okay, feels good. It is smooth enough and sharp enough that it is making quick work out of this beer.
Nice. All right, so far so good. I'm gonna switch hands. Now and get this other side. Yeah. Going good. Going good so far. Nice. Okay. A little bit left. There we go. Pass two complete. Now, let's see how we did on those cheeks. Oh yeah, nice. That is good. And again, this tallow base soap, super slick. Got a good face feel, very nice. Okay, next is the half pass, and that is primarily going to be across the grain on my jawline and my neck. Now, I do Friday specials as well on the first and third Friday of each month, so tune in for that. They are shave related videos, honing. Sharpening, strops. This is where I answer your questions and your comments or your ideas uh, that you give me in the comments, okay? And it gives me a way to actually demonstrate and describe or actually really show, right? Show how to do whatever it is you're interested in. So if you have any questions or comments or suggestions for Friday specials, go ahead and put them down in the comments for me. And we will get to that as quickly as we can. Yep. All right, now, let's get to this half pass.
Look at the peaks on that soap. Is that amazing or what? <laughs> Gotta love it. Gotta love it. I'll tell you, we have some wonderful artisan soap makers out there. Nice. Oh, you know what? I'm not even going to bother with that. Almost out of habit, I did it. But I'm thinking I don't need it. So, let's go ahead and get cleaned off. See how we did. All right. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Another great shave in the books. Yes. Very nice. Okay. So, listen. All you new guys out there, seriously, if uh, you're thinking about getting into straight razor or wet shaving, go ahead and just get a strop. I personally like one that has both leather and fabric. And that way you can go ahead and do a Chromox refresh on that edge. And you can make that shave ready. All right. And it's not that expensive to keep it going. And uh, in the beginning, that's the way to go, as far as I'm concerned. Later on, if you really get into it and you want to do honey, then there's other things we can do with that. Now, if I didn't show you what it is yet. <laughs> Here I am talking. All right, so now that was Thayer's, and that's the Lavender Witch Hazel. Really one of my favorites, it's quite nice. And now, we're gonna finish with a little bit of a cologne thing here with the Clubman Musk. And that is going to be nice. That's going to go well. All right. Wow. Again, another beautiful, beautiful scent. Really is. Okay. And next. We really are going to finish off with Nivea Post Shave Balm. Okay, very nice. And this has got like a light citrusy note in it. And it is good for the skin. And as you see, my skin's a little bit red. Okay, that razor on the Chromox Strop. Uh, refresh does make that a little edgier than my ILR but guys it works just as well and it, it can keep your razor sharp for quite some time hey really there is a card right up here to show you uh, all the steps from pre-shaved post shave for a complete straight razor shave Thank you so much for stopping by for this shave. Really appreciate you and all you do for me. Click right over here to see my latest video. Click down here on a video specially picked out for you. Click over here on me. Subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.